All right, it looks like we're doing back-to-back -back sneaker unboxings and that would explain the outfit that I'm wearing that's the same as the one from the previous video and the setup too. What I have in my hands right now is a box from Reebok Classic and like you can see from the logo, Shaquille O'Neal. This is the Shaq Gnosis pair. Thank you for tuning in, you guys, stopping by and checking out this review video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button right there. I make content every now and then. And if you like the sneakers and you like the video, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm saying video way too many times. All right, I picked this up in a size UK 8, which is what I normally wear. Shout out to the guys at Reebok for sending through this pair. And woo, look at that. Just look at that. Wee. All right, I gotta pull the pair out. Give me a second. And I'm like really, really excited because this is like, this is 90s nostalgia right here. Man, look at the Shaq Gnosis sneaker that we're gonna look at today. All right, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like I watched basketball growing up or anything. My first memory of this sneaker is seeing Will Smith actually wearing this pair in the Men in Black movie. When he goes in to register with the agency, he's got this pair on. And I think this pair came out somewhere in 1996. And man, it's, it's just look at it. It's unlike anything that you would see uh, these days and this entire weird wild design for Shaquille O'Neal, the Shaq Gnosis, I think it comes from the fact that it looks like those hypnosis uh, rings. I don't know what you call that but you know when they're dangling that thing to hypnotize you and I think that's where the Shaq Gnosis name comes from and it's a part of this Mobius pack which has all of these wild aggressive designs. There's the Kamikaze 2 as well which is the only other aggressive looking sneaker basketball sneaker that i love from this entire pack now let's get into the details the black bits right here are all new bark and the white bits are leather nothing outstanding or extraordinary just the regular stuff you have the reebok logo the vector logo there done in silver embroidery and that's there on both the lateral and the medial sides you have shack dunking the right there on the tongue and it's the same design that you see right here on the heel branding. You have your typical EVA sole, white rope laces and the tongue as well follows this black and white branding. It's a regular mesh tongue with the new buck black bits right there. Well padded on the inside, obviously this is a basketball sneaker. You have that cutout window right here for your hexalite which you can also see from those cutouts in the outsole. On the outsole as well, you have the overlays transferring over. You have the Reebok vector right there, and you have Shaq with his dunk right there. From what I hear, this isn't really hexalite, it's mock, but I can feel it right here through this cutout, and it kind of feels super soft. They're supposed to compress as you wear them. Otherwise, you have your regular EVA sole, uh, midsole insides. Mm that's stuffing out like it's a Thanksgiving turkey. What I loved about this pair is this right here. You see this? I don't know if I can show it to you. Let me kind of try and close it. So this part right here is like a padded heel support. It's all squished at the moment, but I think when I wear it, I'm gonna open it up that way and slide my foot in. Now, this is a proper balling pair. I think when Shaquille O'Neal had his own pair, he had a player's exclusive, uh, a PE as they call it these days, but for him they had to increase the height of the collar and also provide him with the insta pump option so he could tighten it up to support his ankle. You know how Shaq is a big man. But yeah man, I waited like a really long time to get my hands on this pair. It's, it's such a beautiful pair. Shout out again to the guys at Reebok Classic for sending this through. Oh yeah, and the last bit of branding is on the in Seoul, you see Shaq right there again. I'm surprised that a lot of people did jump onto these. It's so retro, so, so 90s. Yeah. Okay, now let me slip these on feet to show you what they look like.
so that's about it for this video, you guys. You know, I always get confused when I look at these pairs. I always thought this was a black pair <laughs> with white rings around it, but this is actually a white base with black rings, and then you have an alternate colorway. Also, the original only ever came in this specific colorway, so I'm glad I could have this in my collection. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.